Cross police officer who was shot in the chest last month is still recovering from his injuries, but police say it could have been much worse if it weren't for his bulletproof vest. News 8's Alec Janikopoulos is in our newsroom tonight with a look at how it may have saved the officer's life. Mike and Martha, the vests that the La Crosse police wear are only a few inches deep, but if shot at, it can stop a bullet in its tracks and have the bullet fold over itself in a mushroom-like shape. With the officer involved shooting last month, I talked with La Crosse police on the importance they hold for a police officer in a life or death situation. No! The bulletproof vest that La Crosse police officer Dustin Darling wore early August when he was shot by a suspect on a domestic call most likely saved his life. I'm hit! I'm hit! In the vest! That incident really hallmarks the importance of the investment that the La Crosse Police Department puts into equipment like the ballistic vest. Uh La Crosse Police Captain Jason Melby showcased the effectiveness of the bulletproof vests in life or death situations. All three bullets fired were caught in the Kevlar lining in the vest. As you can see, there's a few little dimples there. What ends up happening is you got a Kevlar lined uh, uh, material inside of here that basically prevents the round from penetrating and coming through. The Kevlar vests have become a necessity for the department as police calls have gotten more violent. In the last five years, uh, we've seen a spike in the number of people uh, that were arresting for felon in possession of firearms. The vests aren't cheap. They cost $1,000 and need to be replaced every five years. Departments are realizing that, you know, there's no value on a human life. Thanks to the vest, Officer Darling is expected to make a full recovery and return to the force. And that officer did an incredible job keeping his composure after being shot in the vest. Making the costs of the vest a small price to pay. 64, I've been hit. I'm in the vest. I believe I'm all right. He's inside. There are children in the house. I am setting up the vest saved Officer Darling's life, but it did injure him. He's currently recovering from a soft tissue injury on his chest and on administrative leave. There's no timetable yet for when he's ready to return to the force. The vests were introduced to the force in the 90s, and they have also protected officers from blunt and edged weapons in the past. All right, thanks so much, Alec. And the vests are funded in part by a federal grant and in part by the La Crosse Police Department. They do accept donations to directly go to funding of police vests. And you can contact the La Crosse Police Department at their non-emergency line if you would like to donate.